this is the solution to quiz five. So the first exercise is an integral. So we'll use the fundamental theorem and find an antiderivative. So this will be uh, the antiderivative of 4z is 2z squared. Antiderivative of 3 is 3z. And then this evaluated from negative 2 to 2. So plugging in 2, <coughs> 2 times 4 is 8, and then plus 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2 times 4 is 8, so the negative 2 squares to become 2, and then plus 3 times negative 2, so plus negative 6. <coughs> So this will be 14 minus 2. So the answer is 12. <clears throat> For this one, a substitution is needed. So this will be u is 2x plus 1. du is then 2dx. So du by 2 is dx. <coughs> we'll substitute the limits. u evaluated at 1. Plugging 1 into here is 3. u evaluated at 4. Plugging 4 into here is 9. <coughs> So that is the now now the integral three to nine one over u squared and then du over two. So simplifying a little bit, that'll be half integral three to nine of u to negative two du. And now we can use the power rule. So this would be half u to negative 1 divide by negative 1 evaluated from 3 to 9. I'll spend this negative to reverse the order of evaluation. So that'll be half and I'll write u to negative 1 as 1 over u. So now from 9 to 3. <clears throat> so then this would be half 1 third minus 1 ninth. Now 1, one third is 3 ninths minus 1 ninth is 2 ninths. So this is 1 half multiplied by 2 ninths. So one ninth. <clears throat> Exercise two <clears throat> again requires a substitution. So how about I'll make the substitution letter W just to be fun. So W is one plus log x, then dw is 1 over x dx. This 3 could just be factored out in the front, so it doesn't need anything to cover it. We'll go ahead and change the limits now. w evaluated at 1 is 1 plus log of 1, but log of 1 is 0, so that's 1. w evaluated at 2 is 1 plus log 2. So then, this is now integral from 1 to 1 plus log 2 
that 3 I'll factor out in front. And then this is 1 over w dw. <clears throat> OK. So then that's 3 log of absolute value of w evaluated from 1 <coughs> to 1 plus log 2. Since all of the values between here and here are between 1 and 1 plus log 2 are positive, that means I don't need absolute value. Furthermore, because we're going to evaluate log w at 1, log of 1 is 0. So that's just 3 multiplied by log of 1 plus log 2. <clears throat> For this one, we'll need a substitution. So continuing to use different letters, I'll say that y is 2t minus 2, so then dy is 2 dt, but we don't have 2 dt, so I'll divide by 2 to get dy over 2 is dt, and then I'll switch the limits now. So y evaluated at 3, so plugging in t is 3, that's 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2 is 4 and then y evaluated at 9 <coughs> plugging in 9 2 times 9 is 18 minus 2 is 16 so this is now the integral from 4 to 16 of square root y uh, dy over 2. So now this square root y is equivalent to fractional exponent half, so we can use the power rule. So this will be y to 3 halves divided by 3 halves and then here's an extra 1 over 2 and then we need to evaluate this from 4 to 16 <clears throat> so this should be simplified a little bit so division by 3 halves is the same as multiplication by 2 thirds and 2 thirds times 1 half is 1 third so this is 1 third y to 3 halves evaluated from 4 to 16 so that's 1 third and then 16 to 3 halves well let's write that down 16 to 3 halves and then minus 4 to 3 halves so you should be able to do this without the aid of a calculator because 16 3 halves the way this works is you first evaluate 16 to 1 half, which is 4, and then raise it to the third power, and 4 cubed is 64. So this is 1 third times 64. Square root of 4 is 2 cubed is 8. And that's 56. So 1 third times 56. Is that divisible by 3? No, it's not. So 56 over 3. <clears throat>
green. And we can see that this region runs from negative 1 to 3. And that there is a switch where in the left region, green is above red from negative 1 to 2, and in the right region, red is above green from 2 to 3. So, <clears throat> calling this region 1, and calling this other one region 2, <clears throat> the formula for the area of region 1 is thus the integral from negative 1 to 2 and then it will need to be green minus red so the formula for green is 0 and the formula for red is x squared minus x minus 2 Okay, so then that is <clears throat> integral negative 1 to 2, and then negative x squared plus x plus 2 dx. Using the fundamental theorem, that would be negative x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus 2x and then evaluate this from negative 1 to 2 <clears throat> so plugging this in that would be negative 8 thirds plus plugging in 2 that would be 4 over 2 which is 2 Plugging in 2, that would be 4, and then minus. <laughs> so negative 1 cubed would be negative 1 third. So minus negative 1 third, negative negative 1 third is a third. And then negative 1 squared is 1, so plus a half. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. so we'll simplify these so negative 8 thirds minus 1 third is negative 9 thirds which is negative 3 <clears throat> 2 plus 4 is 6 and then <clears throat> we're going to take half minus 2, so that's negative 1 and a half, but then we're going to subtract it, so plus 1 and a half. So that is 6 minus 3 is 3, plus 1 and a half is 4 and a half. So the area of the first region is 4 and a half. <clears throat> the second region its area is given by the integral from 2 to 3 and now we need to do red minus green because red is above green so this would be x squared minus x minus 2 and then minus 0 dx <clears throat> and we'll want to use the fundamental theorem so that will be <clears throat> x cubed over 3 minus x squared over 2 minus 2x and they're going to evaluate this from 2 to 3 so this would be <clears throat> this would be uh, 
plugging in 3, that's 27 over 3, which is 9. So 9. And then minus 9 over 2. And then minus 6. Okay, now evaluate at 2. This would be um, <clears throat> 8 thirds minus 2 minus 4. So this is 9 minus 9 halves is 9 halves, which is 4 and a half. So 4 and a half minus 6 is negative 1 and a half minus. <clears throat> So that's 8 thirds uh, minus 6. So we're going to add 6 minus negative 6. So we'll add 6 to this. 6 minus 1 and a half is 4 and a half. And then minus 8 thirds. Okay, so then simplifying this, that's 9 halves minus 8 thirds. So that would be 27 minus 16. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank here. <clears throat> 27 minus 16 is 11 over 6. Okay, so then that means that the total area is the area of region 1 plus the area of region 2, which is <clears throat> 4 and a half plus 11 over 6. And simplifying this, <clears throat> that would be 9 halves plus 11 over 6. <clears throat> So to make this over 6, that'd be 27 over 6 plus 11 over 6. So that's 38 over 6, or if you like, 19 over 3.